Hi, everybody. This is Darcy Piedmont, Publisher Success Manager at Above the Tree Line, and this is Analytics 101, just a quick introduction and in how to use this powerful tool as a publisher. At Treeline, we like to affectionately call analytics, how is my title doing in the indie market? And that's because most publishers are using analytics to see how their titles are faring within this particular market. We have over 480 stores that send us data each night. Um, of course, there are also Christian stores and UK stores and the library market. So the number goes up from 480. But typically speaking, publisher use, publishers are using analytics most often for this view into the indie markets. You can access analytics in more than one way. So just like within Edelweiss in general, you can get to a different place in more than one way. The same is true for analytics. So you can look at the information and the presentation mode of each title when you're working within a catalog. Those are typically kind of on the fly as you're working. If you just want a little glance or to take five or 10 minutes um, to look at some data, if you want to go into a deeper dive, you can go right onto the analytics page. And also some people within your publishing house with an analytics subscription will receive a daily email report. And I'll talk about each of these next. So within a title view, um, one thing too that we like to tell everyone is that analytics is one title, many stores, or many libraries if you're in that market, or you're looking at one location, many titles. Um, so we break down the information for you that way. When you're going through a catalog and just looking at your titles one by one, if you click the little presentation mode and open up um, the little icon next to each title in its listing, you'll get into the presentation mode. And there are two areas that are analytics specific. That's your point of sales data and the cross store data. So when you click a point of sale data, that's going to give you the information about this title um, with a particular location, and you're going to be able to see their on order, on hand, and even their lifetime sales. The cross store data is really looking at this title and how it's doing across the indie market, just like it sounds. So this is the image on the right hand side of your screen. Um, these numbers do not refer to American Dirt. So again, we try to be really careful about um, not sharing people's uh, personal data, but we still want to try to give you some images that will help you get started within analytics. So in this cross store data, which again is very frequently used, you can choose the market. So here it shows US indie booksellers. You can also go by region. You can go by public libraries. You can go into the UK market or the Christian market. You can set your time frame. The current month is literally day one of whatever month that we're in. Um, so sometimes the current month might only be a few days, in which case you'd want to pull it back to two months view. Um, or you can go further back in time. As sales reps, you're probably going to just want to look at your own accounts. But people who are in marketing and management are going to want to see all of those 480 stores. And you have the ability to do that right here in the cross store data. You can look at, um, you can search by a particular store, you can choose how many entries you have listed, you can export all of this to an Excel spreadsheet. All of these labels, and this is true throughout analytics and throughout Edelweiss, hovering over them usually tells you what the label stands for. And it also, if you click into it, allows you to refine the results by that parameter. And you can also invert the order. So. There's a lot, again, that you can do just on this very introductory page and kind of see where you're at. I know a lot of publishers are using the cross store data view to look at pre-publication orders. Um, and a lot of publishers are also looking at numbers here to see really good backlist titles and find out what stores don't have that backlist title in stock. So a lot to do there. When you go into a catalog and you're kind of um, scrolling through and looking at your different titles, you can choose to display the catalog with an analytics view. You just click this little pie. 
And this is a view that would give you many titles, one location. You can drop this location arrow down and pick the location that is relevant for you. And this pie graph, I'm going to get into more detail about this in a moment, but essentially it tells you how these titles are faring in terms of shelf days within a given um, location. The left-hand side of the grid is going to show you, in this case, the Indie Trade retailers, um, because this location is in the Indie Trade markets. But this is all uh, changeable, depending on what you're looking at. And then the right-hand side is going to give you information about that particular location. And then there are other actions that you can do, like add a tag, add the title to a collection, um, put some notes to it, whatever you wish. So the first two things are sort of those on the fly and kind of analytical views that you need in the moment that you're working. And maybe you're not investing a lot of time into analytics in that work moment. But the analytics page, so from your menu bar, if you click into analytics, this is going to give you a deeper dive. And I'm going to kind of break it down. There's a lot of information here. So first, I'll just tell you what the lanes are. And you can move these lanes around. You can set your preferences. But we have the most popular lane, the stock analysis, the catalog analysis, not yet released, and then historical overview. The most popular lane is obviously the most popular titles within the markets um, and how these titles are performing overall. You can set, you can use this little gear to set that parameter. So if you want it in a regional market or in the library market, but the default is usually the top 200 titles across the indie trade markets. And then up here, you'll see this little blur, but that's where you pick your location. So again, this is going to be a particular place but it's going to be compared to how that place is doing within the bigger market trends. Um, so for the most popular lane, let me take a moment to say too that, um, that these, so I'll tell you that these pie graphs relate to shelf days and there are little flames underneath these titles that refer to the shelf day for a particular title. The parameters, the little equation that you set for shelf days can also be manipulated right in this little gear. But generally speaking, think of shelf days as being the health, or sorry, the, the copies of that particular title that are on hand times the days since the last activity. So for that first title, Nine Perfect Strangers, the little flame would be an equation that would tell you the number of titles, the number of copies times the activity. So it could be one title um, times maybe 30 or 40 days that it's been on the shelf, or it could be three titles times seven days. So you can get to the shelf day um, category within that equation. And we have, again, more information in our help documentation on this. Um, but this pie graph is going to give you kind of a sense, and, and again, they're all hoverable, of how, um, of different groups of titles and how they're faring. Uh, a couple more things before I talk more about the different lanes. You can view the titles in any lane within a grid to get that catalog view that we just saw. Um, so really pull out some numbers and really take that deeper dive. You can choose to look at the titles by ISBN. Typically, if you're in the indie trade market, you're going to do that. Or the family data if you're in the library market. Um, and let's see. So that's so most popular titles is obviously, again, it's the most popular titles across the whole indie retail market. Stock analysis is still going to be shelf days and information about how your titles are doing, but it's going to be the entire inventory of all of your titles. Catalog analysis, which you don't see in the image, but trust me, there's a lane that says that. That's where you can apply a particular catalog or even a collection and look through that catalog and again, um, through the lens of shelf days into the titles within a particular catalog or collection. 
a not re the not yet released lane is going to have obviously no sales history, but it will have the on order history. So if you know that you have some really important titles coming up, you can see if this particular location has ordered enough copies that you expect them to be able to sell. If you're really into graphs, the historical overview lane has graphs that are really pretty self-explanatory and easy to read and give you a picture of, um, again, different parameters that you can set. Uh, so if you like graphs, that's the lane for you. And just a few more things along the left-hand navigation bar, which you can collapse that to get a bigger view of the lanes. But you can always refine by different categories and even collections. And I take a moment to mention collections here in the refinement side because this is for people who miss the old watch list of the old tree line analytics. If you liked watch lists, it, you can apply, you can set you don't instead of using the catalog analysis lane you can just click your collection so let's say it's you know holiday titles or some sort of seasonal titles or some watch list that you have of favorite titles you can just click that collection and then the lanes change to reflect the data for that market and that particular location within that collection so lots and lots of stuff to do. <laughs> Many areas where you can set your own parameters and, and choose your own preferences. Um, and then also you can choose other actions and even get emails sent to yourself or sent to a colleague. So tread into this water kind of one skill at a time and master one thing, or at least this is the way that I like to work. I like to kind of get my information down in one area and then just know that there's so much more to add as you get comfortable and acclimated. The daily email report I mentioned earlier, this is just gonna go to a handful of people within your publishing house. The front list titles will be their recent backlist and then deeper backlist. And this is up to the minute information about sales. Analytics is for the big picture and also the details. And there are views for marketing people, management people, sales rep people. There's something for everyone on your team. Um, it definitely gives you the numbers. It gives you the datas, data so that you can make informed decisions. And one other last piece of information to kind of, before I leave you, analytics is descriptive rather than prescriptive. And so when you look at these numbers and when you think about this data, and when you're kind of digging into it, we're not trying to tell you what to do with it. We're just trying to describe how you're doing, how your titles look. So as a recap, use analytics to monitor your sales trends with the sale, daily sales data. That's the email. Capitalize on your title sales from both the pre-pub numbers, which are becoming increasingly significant, to backlist status, which is also very important. So that's that title presentation view. Track your catalog and collection performance, either while you're working within a catalog or within the analytics tab. You can create personalized, actionable recommendations really quickly and easily within analytics. You can use filters, notes, tags, collections to communicate both internally and with your buyers and hopefully make informed data-driven decisions. I know that's a lot, so don't hesitate to get in touch with us. If you're interested in a trial of analytics, we're happy to open one up for you. Just contact sales at abovethetreeline.com. And if you have questions about analytics and you want to know more, um, please feel free to write to support at abovethetreeline.com, and we'll help you out. Thanks so much for tuning in.